Kaza mwese mu isaha ya gaciro. Welcome you all on the hour of value. Amahoro Yesu Kristo abane namwe. May the peace of God be with you. Karibu ahuri turaku turakwakirie ku mugabane uwari wo wose uri hu imwanya. Welcome you from any continent you are in. Amahoro ya Yesu Kristo abane namwe. May the peace of God be with you. Iyi ni saha ya gaciro. This is your hour of value. Uyu munsi turi buganire ku ijambo rivuga ngo isengesho rigarura ibyatakaye. Today we we'll talk about the theme that said the prayer that bring back the loss. Hari ibyo watakaje. You have lost something. Hari ibyo wabuze. You have lost something. Hari ibyo wibwe. There is something that has been stolen from you. Mumuka, spiritual, umubiri, in the flesh. Hari ukuntu Satani yakuriganyije. There is a way Satan has uh, tricked you. Akwambura ibyimana gutegura. And then he took everything God has planned for you. Ndagira ngo ngubwire ngo. I want to tell you this. Habaho isengesho. There is a prayer. Rigarura ibyatakaye. That restore the what we lost. Mbere yuko twinjiraho. Before we go to that. Let us pray. Elohim turagushima. Elohim we thank you. Jehovah imana yacu. Jehovah our God. This is the our value. Give value to our brethren. Those who are sitting beside me. Those who are sitting in the front of me. Manifest yourself. I pray blessing upon them. I pray mercy upon you. To be upon them. Let the power from heaven to be upon them. Do great things. And the more than what we can think. Everyone who's listening at this moment. Right now. Today, or tomorrow. Or after tomorrow. Who will re reward this again? To be blessed by you. Thank you because we are God. Speak with us. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Kaze mu isaha ya gaciro. Welcome in the hour of value. Isengesho rigarura ibyatakaye. The prayer that bring back the loss. Ikatureyo muri yobu. Let's look in the book of Job. Mirongo 42. Chapter 42. Eh umurongo wa 10 kuza ku 10 Verse 10 to 11. Bibiliya ivuga ya magambo ngo. The Bible says this. Ngo yobu agisabira bagenzi be. Uwiteka herako aramunamura amukiza ibyago bye amuha ibihwanye nibyo yarafite kabiri And the Lord restored Job's losses when he prayed for his friend indeed the Lord gave Job twice as much he had before Nuko bavandimwe bose bamusangana n'abashiki be bose nabari baziranye nawe bose basangirira nawe mu nzu ye baramuririra kandi baramuhumuriza kubw'ibyago Uwiteka yari yaramuteje byose umuntu wese amushumbuje igice kifeza n'impeta y'izahabu Then all his brothers and all his sister and all those who had been his acquaintance before came to him and ate, ate food with him in his house and they consoled him and comforted him for all the adversity that the Lord had brought upon him each one gave him a piece of silver and each a ring of gold Isengesho rya yobu yarakoze The prayer of Job worked ngo ibyo yari yatakaje arabigaruza Anything he has lost he restored ngo abona ibihwanye nibyo yarafite kabiri Indeed the Lord gave Job twice as much he had before Abantu baraza baramushumbusha And then the people came give him a piece of silver Bambuha ibice byiza habu bamuha impeta yiza habu each one gave him a piece of silver and each a ring of gold byagenze gute what happened the situation reka tubanze turebe kuki ese uyobu avuye kugira ngo yakire ibi byose let's look who's job and then what happened to him in order to receive all these cyangwa se yatakaje iki or what has he lost ese yegaruguye yegaruriwe bibiri gute why did he get twice as much he had before reka turebe let's look muri yobu igice cyambere Job chapter 1 verse 13 nyemera tujyane nawe 
Allow me to go with you. And we will go up to 19. And then let's hear what he says. He lost so many. The Bible says, He lost so many. Now, verse 13, now there was a day when his sons and daughter were eating and drinking wine in the oldest brother's house. And a messenger came to Job and said, Yobu, Job, the, his sons and daughter, Barasangiraga. they were eating together. Barimo they were drinking wine Munzeyamukuruwa. in his oldest brother's Umakuwa house. So they were having a good time. Yobu, yari you? Job was at his house. Hazimbit. And there came a messenger. Verse 14. Yes. Ndetse bicishije abagara w'ingota nije warokotse ngiye nyine wo kubikubikira It says the oxen were plowing and the donkeys feeding beside them when the servants raided them and it took them away indeed they have killed the servants with the edge of sword and I alone have escaped to tell you Abana bandu bari bavuye muri Africa na Arabia This is the people from Africa and Arab Africa. Africans. They were great. And then they came into the field of Job. They took donkeys and oxen. And then when the servants they tried to tell them to stop, they killed them. And then one escaped. He came. Right? He told Job what took place. Okay. He has lost the oxen and the donkeys. To, on today's, we can call them a caterpillar. And he those Hear what he has lost. Verse 16. Umuriro w'Imana wavuye mu ijuru utwika intama n'abagaragu birakongoka nije warokoze ngiye nyine wo kubikubikira And while he was speaking another also came and said the fire of God fell from heaven and burned out the sheep and the servant and consumed them and I alone have escaped to tell you Bagiye kwona babona umuriro uraje They watch and then they see a fire coming down Utwika intama zose Burn every camel. Burn every servant. And then only one escaped and then running. One, one is standing telling about the donkeys. And then as he was processing, processing what he was, the first man was saying, the other one came. The camels had been burned by fire and servant. Imagine that situation. Verse 17. As he was speaking, another came. This is the third one. The other one is still there. Job is still processing what it does. Before he asked, how is the ship? The third one came. Abakarudaya biremyemo ibitero bitatu bisuka mu ngami yabarazinyaga. Ndetse bikishije abagara gw'ingota. And then it says the Chaldean formed three bands, raided the camels, and took them away. Yes, and killed the servant with the age of sword. And I alone have escaped to tell you. Hey? Yes, what? Umge, babiri, batatu. One, two, three people coming, bring Iraq. From Iraq. And they came. But they took all the camels. 
and killed all the servants I am the one who escaped to come tell you this is a different situation you can imagine is this a plot as he's still speaking the fourth one came ngwabahungubawe my and then uh, verse 18 as he was speaking as we said your sons and the daughter were eating and drinking in the wine in the oldest brother's house and suddenly a great wind came from across the wild wilderness wilderness and struck the four corners of the house and it fell on the young people and they are dead and i alone have escaped to tell you Apujabana. he has lost the sons Inhama. The camels, the Indogobe, sheep, the donkeys, ubutunzi, every wealth, abakozi, guy, every servant. Then he said, what is this? Is this true? It's not end yet. Job 2. Chapter 2 verse 7. Up to 10. All this has happened as he is processing what happened. Mm. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord and struck Job with the painful boils from the sole of his foot to the crown of his head. From the top of his head to the foot of the crown to the crown of his head where you carry, you, you carry your stuff in, on your head. Everything. He got painful boils. Boils from the soul. There's no sons. There's no wealth. Everything is dead. And his body is a painful boy. It's a skin cancer. On verse 8. And he took for himself a pot shirt which to to scrap himself while he sat in the midst of ashes the pain the nails has gone he took a pot shirt he sat in the ashes the chair everything he's gone he they sold everything so they can have something to eat and then the man sat in the ashes and scrape himself with a pot shirt everywhere this is job my, my clothes has been eaten by cockroaches god where were you Truly. This life of not having a car, I'm tired of this. If Job is presented before you, what would you say? In this avenue where I live, they hate me and I am hating my life. You're not yet to, leave, to reach the level of Job. On verse 9. This is a different story. Here. Mm. Then his wife said to him, Do you still hold fast to your integrity? Curse God and die. Bivuzik. Which means what? So his wife has a backslide totally. <laughs> Whose God is this? I'm tired. You men. Do you still your integrity? Kept your integrity? Curse your God. And then die. 
uzicamusubije do you know what he said guvuze nkumwe umubagore wabapfapfa ku murongo wacu verse 10 he said to her you speak as one of the foolish women speaks gombeseye twahabwe ibyiza mu kuboko kw'Imana tukanga guhabwa ntibibi Shall we indeed accept good from God and shall we not accept adversity? In all these Job did not see with his lips. His, ah. with his lips. His lips. His tongue. He kept quiet. Hear this man in here. He counter many challenges problems you are who you was becoming he encounter many problem kuborongwa 10 ni biche bibiri kuborongwa 10 numwe chapter 2 verse 11 humve kuweza kuborongwa 13 up to 13 ngo nuko inshuti zayo beshatu zumvise ibyo byago byose byamuteye ziraza umwe aturutsiwe undiwe elifazi w'umutemani Birudadi umushuhi zofari umunamati basezerana kujya kumuririra no kumuhumuriza Now when Job's three friends heard of this adversity they came upon him each one came from his own place Elphaz Temanite Bildad the Shu Shuhite and Zophar the Namanthite for they had made an appointment together to come and mourn with him and to comfort him. Mhm. Mm Verse 12. Barambu yamaso. Amaso yabo bakiri hirya. Basanga yarahindanye baremuyoberwa. Batera hejuru bararira. Bose bashishimura imyitero yabo. Bitera umukungu gukumitwe no mukirere. And when they raised their eyes from afar and did not recognize him, they lifted their voice and wept, and each one tore his robe and sprinkled the dust on his head toward heaven. Yo. Maze nichara na nawe hasi. Bamara imisiri indwi na majorari indwi. Kani nda wigeze, nda wagize, icha mubgira. Kuko babo nyiko, umuwa barowe, ukabiche chaani. So they sat down with him on the ground seven days and seven nights, and no one spoke a word to him, for the so the that his grief was very great. Imagine seven days and seven nights sitting with him, not even open one word to him. Ah. Hmm. Uh. Umva kugice chakane. Ono chapter 4. Umurongo wa mbele. Verse 1. Muri ba abandi. Among the people. And the time came. Ngo elifazi umutemani aramu wirati. Ni kanerimu. Ngo mbesu mtu ya gera geza kufuga na nawe. Ti wagira gahinda. Ngo aliko ninde wa kuyu manganyango atavuga. Ngo dore wigi. Wigi shagawenshi. Kando wako meza gama woko atente woko. Agi ya kumu wira lero. Here on chapter 4 verse 1 Then Elphaz the Temanite answered and said If one attempts a word with you Will you become weary But who can withhold himself from speaking Surely you have instructed many And you have strengthened weak hands So here he is telling him to be strong You have strengthened many Be strong as well so the prayer that bring back the lost is this. He has lost his wife, the wife, abana, the children, and any material things, his wealth. The friend that visited him, after they spoke, as we, as we read 42, 10 to 11, as we read 42, 10 to 11, Eleven. Amazing. 
And the Lord restored Job's loss when he had prayed for his friend. Indeed, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Then all his brothers, all his sisters, and all those who had been his acquaintance before came to him and ate food with his, in him, with him in his house and consoled him and comforted him and all adversity that the Lord has brought upon him. Each one gave him a piece of silver and each ring of gold. You do, there is a prayer you are about to do in this uh, trial you are facing. But that prayer it's to pray for your friends. Yes, you are facing, but pray for those who are in sorrow. You are poor. Pray for those who are in the poor. You are crying. Pray for those who are crying. You are hungry. Pray for those who are hungry. When you took that prayer to and they give to your offer that prayer to your friends, and then you gain a lot of those. Stop there to look your children. Pray for others' children. Stop there to look your famine. Pray for those who are in famine. God will remember you. Stop there. To look at your sorrow. Pray for those who are in sorrow. That's the prayer that bring back the loss. May God give you that spirit of prayer. Intercede on for us. And God will do good to you. Thank you God for your goodness. You are great. And you do great. I thank you for your miracles. I thank you for your king. I thank you for everything. Teach us to pray. Teach them how to intercede. So you can bring back the loss. Let your peace be with everyone. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Bye.